Hello and welcome back. So, uh, as you can see, it's Evil Knievel Day here. I've been collecting Evil Knievel vintage products for about three years, and one of the reasons I collect it is how difficult it is to find. So, up until just a few days ago, my Evil Knievel collection consisted of this original cycle and evil, but not the charger. I just got that. A Fisher Price Evil Knievel. I came across this uh, Jet Cycle and got a great deal on it. And then I found this other Evil Knievel at a flea market. So I got him and put him on it. And one of my good friends got me this Evil Knievel Jigsaw Puzzle. And then I had a card. And that, that was it. That's that, that consisted, that was all of my vintage Evil Knievel collection at the time. So, I was out and about going to the shops and doing what I do, looking for treasure. And a guy says, you like Evil Knievel? And he starts pulling out this, and this, and this, and this, and this. And we did some bartering. And I ended up giving 400 for all of it. But, the only box here that is empty is the stunt cycle box. And it is still an excellent box that goes for around $80 on eBay normally. So just to get that alone was a great deal. But then I got the Fast Tracker, and it is in here. And I got the Canyon Sky Cycle, and it's in there. And then I got the Scramble Van, and it's in there. And then I got Escape from Skull Canyon, and it's in there. Now these are not all complete complete. They are missing pieces, but they are a great start and well worth what I paid for it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the camera down lower and we're going to look at each one of these individually, look at the box art and get them out of the box because I just think this is a phenomenal find and I want to share it. Well, sorry about having to do this in the kitchen. I know the acoustics in here aren't the greatest, but it's what I have to work with since we're messing with such a large collection. Now, I do have a very large reproduction Evil collection. I have just about every, I think I have just about almost everything released from uh, California Creations. And that stuff's fun to play with. We have a lot of fun with that, me and the grandkids. But this stunt cycle box, just look at that. That is 1973 right up there. And then on the back, it shows you the other things you could buy to go with it. Because they had quite a few Evil Knievel toys. Okay, so let's move on to another piece. Now this one is really cool. And unfortunately, I did not get the original figure that has the red jumpsuit. But, let's look at the box real quick. As you can see, the it is a really good shape. You got your side of the box there. And then on the back, we're back to the, you know, advertising what else you could buy. But it tells you that it is impact resistant nose cone, built in gyro stabilization, and races at top speed for long distances. And this one did include complete with figure and Canyon Sky Cycle and the Energizer. So it shows a red Energizer, and I did get a couple of Energizers in this purchase. I got two of them. This being one of them. And for one that's been played with, that's in really good condition. And it still works. And let's get the cycle out. So I got the cycle. And it is in... Fairly decent condition from something of this age. And the motor on it does still work. Front wheel is, doesn't roll the greatest, but it still rolls. The nose cone's intact. Most of the stickers are there. The evil figure that it came with, they had light hair and dark haired. And this one was a dark haired. And I said, this is, I don't think this is the one it came with. This is just happened to be in there when I purchased it. And we got the helmet. But what was neat is almost every one of these boxes still had the original instructions.
Told you where to do your sticker placement, how to assemble your energizer, how to set up your figure and get them in. And it showed you how to set that on the energizer and how to make your jumps and how to use it. So really cool instructions. Well, let's move on to the next piece. So we're moving on to the fast tracker. Now this was a 1975 edition of the Evil Knievel toy line from Ideal. Amazing fast tracker. We'll do vertical wheelies for long distances. And is your classic gyroscopic power. And look at this. If you wanted to send this as a gift, it had the two spot on the back. And this side is basically a smaller version of the fronts. Well, let's pull this thing out. Now, I did put this energizer in here because this is the other one I got. And it's a little bit even nicer than the, than the previous one. And this was also supposed to come complete with a figure. And it did not. And it did not have the instructions on this one. But we got the cycle. And it is in pretty amazing shape from something from 1975. And the most important thing. It still works. So... That could theoretically still be played with and it had these uh, exhausts so when it was doing a wheelie they'd bend up and out of the way. They've got of course skid marks on the bottom because somebody actually used this and enjoyed it so that's awesome. Okay let's move on to the next one. So this one is one of my personal favorites. The Scramble Van. Uh, I have wanted this ever since I've seen it and the fact that I got this in the deal just really made the deal for me. I mean, just look at that box art. That is some amazing box art. You got the side. And then get this rotated around. On the back, it gave you examples of things you could do with the scramble van. Well, yeah. And on this side, just this. So let's let's get it out. Now my scramble van is not complete, but it is in really good shape for what I have, and it's a good start. And to top it all off, we have some instructions. And this shows you there would have been a ramp and a support, and showed you how to do that. And you got your trailer, gas tank. There was a bunch of accessories with this and unfortunately I do not have all the accessories. Uh, such as I do not have the pull out back which I wish I had and the short post and everything. And I'll have to check and see if there's a windshield in the front but I highly doubt it. But it does have the trailer. So with the trailer you can put that behind your scramble van. And you could have one of your stunt cycles in tow. I just happen to have a stunt cycle here. I see. Yep, fits right in there like it's supposed to. Now I said, unfortunately, I do not have the ramp that goes on the back. But this scramble van is in really nice condition. These door hinges, I don't think they've ever been bent, so I'm not gonna bend it open. Um, with the front, let's see. Yeah, no, there's no windshield up there. But it has the steering wheel. Everything's complete as far as that goes. And nothing's torn on the vinyl or the plastic. Which is pretty phenomenal from something like this. Now, with these sides, all you had to do was slide them out. And you can see everything inside. Let's see if we can get in. I'll just pull the panel off and let you see what the inside of the panel looks like. So this would have been a mobile workshop for Evil and Evil's team to get ready for jumps. there's what the other side looks like so I still have to find the ramp the back the uh, ramp brace the pegs there's a little gas tank a toolbox so there's a few things that I'm gonna have to find to make this complete but we have the box we have the main van 
in great condition. Instructions and the trailer, so you really can't beat that. All right, last but not least, let's get Escape from Skull Canyon out. So to finish it off, we have the 1975 Escape from Skull Canyon. Now this is a really cool one. And what I used to use is this canyon section. I used to use it with my He-Man figures as the gate to Castle Grayskull. But this is probably the best box art out of the group. You've got your Wookiee primate dude up there growling. Uh, all of your little voodoo skulls and things. And it looks like somebody paid $6.59 for this at one point in time. Just amazing box art. Now this one is also incomplete, but it has several pieces. Now it does have the instructions, and somebody has taken the stickers that would have gone on here and here, and just put them on the instructions for some reason, I'm not sure why. And there would have been boulders that sit in the middle of this and these little skull talismans. Fortunately, we're missing a section out of the instructions, but they're mostly there. And it showed you what you're supposed to do to bash through the rocks of Skull Canyon. But what it does have is, I think, probably the most important piece. It has the Yeti. Bigfoot primate dude. We have no idea what he is, but he is there and he is awesome. That is just a, a really key part to this set. <laughs> to me, that's, that's one of the things you really want to see. So, let me scoot this back so you can see this a little better. Getting the, uh, that's right to the entrance of it. Now this guy was designed, they've got a peg up here that yeah, he kind of sets up on. Uh, you got your... Will he stand there? That's where he's supposed to stand. But Oh, there we go. There he stood up. And then, I've only got two of the boulders. But the idea was, you would stack these boulders, and they had ways you could lock them together so they'd stay together better. And you would fill this canyon with the boulders. And there's a little ramp that went out in front and you would smash through this. Now, what's a great story about this is one of my friends who's also a collector has this complete, and this was probably 20 years ago. I tried to get him to sell it to me, and he would not, but he did let me get it out of the box and set it up. So I was able to set all of this up, and he had a, a, a cycle and an evil, and he let me run it one time through there, one of the funnest experiences I've ever had. But this is going to wrap up my uh, awesome Evil Can Evil find. I hope you enjoyed it. I, it really made my day because this isn't stuff I find very often. And to find this much of it in one spot was just kind of a fluke. And I just couldn't let it pass. So, yeah, I'll be paying for that one for a while. But I got an incredible collection that theoretically if I wanted to sell, I could sell for more and I could pay for it. But I wouldn't do that because this is all going in my personal but thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed it, smash the like on the way out. And it's a little bit mix up from my normal RC content, but this was just too cool not to do a video on. So I'll catch you later, everybody. Have a great day.